You brought those in, didn't you? Those... Hello, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday Wind Down. I can't see comments yet. I'm gonna wait till they come on in. Thank y'all for joining us on this Wednesday Wind Down. Cinco de Mayo. Not sure why I'm not able to see comments, but y'all come on in the room. Hello, everybody. Hello, Dorothea Moore. Good evening. Right off the top. What's up? That's Brandon Irvin. <laughs> Hello, brother. <laughs> Hope you are you and yours are doing well. Hello, Pamela Dow. Ah. Hey everybody. It's a hard life. <laughs> Somebody gotta do it. Hello, Lizzie Coleman. Hello, Gigi. Thank y'all for joining us. Gigi. Gigi. Oh, I thought that was sis. Hello, Eric Mayberry. Happy belated birthday, brother. I'm gonna get you, bro. I gotta call you. I know I was gonna tell y'all I was gonna call you. I didn't got to you. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I think that was Sherry. Gwen Slaughter Pounds is on. Yes, that was Sher Sherry. Hello, Joanne Renfro. So what y'all doing? Are y'all having... Hello, Ar Armida. Clara Parker. That was Armida. Thank you for joining us. Gary Craig. Hey, brother. What y'all doing on this Cinco de Mayo? How you doing? Hello. Wednesday wind down. Yeah, Cinco de Mayo. May 5th. May 5th. We what wind, is we wind it down. What does that mean? May Cinco de Mayo means May 5th. Okay. I think it's Independence Day. Yes. Um, so we'll indulge in a little bit of their culture, mm -hmm. um, as I'm sure they indulge in some of our culture. That's Hello, it. Sherry Newby. That's what it's all about, mixing cultures. Mm -hmm. It's all love. Yeah, Hello, Keisha Arthur. So how's everybody doing? We got a couple of things today. Um, I got, I found this wine. I'm going to tell you where I found this wine. I was in, I had to go to Sam's. I go to Sam's a lot. Sam's, Publix, Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. And some local markets I go to. As far as change, Sam's, Whole Foods, uh, Fresh Markets in that mix too, mm -hmm. um, and Publix. But I was in there. I think I was in Sam's. Stuff. Yeah, I found this wine called. See that baby? No, Slow Jams. <laughs> Thank you for the stars, Brandy. It's called Slow Jams. It's got old old school cassettes. Is the label. I love it. Let me show the people. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. It's really delicious. Slow jam. Now, I started the evening off. Kip brought me a margarita. Yeah, well, it's Cinco de Mayo, so... But we had to stay Cinco true to Wednesday wind down. I guess we. it don't matter what you're winding down to, yeah, really. Yeah, as long as you're winding down. Or winding down, not winding. Winding. Winding, winding down. to wind down. Yeah, I love this little... Um, yeah. It's a cool bottle. Slow jams. It's yeah. got a lot of old school cassettes. Yes, I like that. It caught my eye. And uh, I, of course, I love Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc, uh, usually compliment Mexican cuisine. So mm -hmm. that's what we're having tonight. Yes. We're having uh, barbacoa, barbacoa style cooked lamb, but it's a, it's a bowl. It's it has a bowl. rice, cilantro, lime rice. Um, roasted corn, fresh corn, black beans, uh, a salsa, a crema, um, cotija cheese. Um, what he said. Poblano peppers roasted. I see the big poblano uh, pepper. Um, and uh, some green guacamole tortillas. 
tortilla chips. Yeah, we got it all. It's but all we, we we dove right into the culture. I just, and gave, I just made mom a bowl. And I, I don't know if she's feeling it, baby. <laughs> she ate some. She Still a little spicy. Y'all see the black beans, the crema. Claire Porter said looks delicious. Yeah. Keisha Arthur, thanks for telling me hello. I've joined a couple of times. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm excited yeah. to taste. So, you know, we indulge in I've uh, traveled to Mexico, deep into the heart of Mexico, Mexico mm -hmm. City. And went to down to Guadalajara. I'm probably not saying that right. One of it's, it's an old city, <laughs> uh, but I, you know, so I think culture. That's what it's all about, you know. And a bowl is the way to go these days. It's everything, huh, baby? Yes, and this is lamb. Yeah, it's lamb. Yeah, it roasted, uh, not roasted actually. In the instapot. Yes, it was in the instapot for so like five hours. So it wasn't Insta. <laughs> it was in the pot, but it wasn't Insta. It was five hours. How is it? Lola ate, like, just made two tacos, baby. It's really good. Thank so, you for the stars, Gary yeah. Clay. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. All the flavors. The crema, I taste the corn. The salsa, it's really good. Okay, you've had two bites, baby. I feel, I think I, and we got some avocado. I forgot to mention that. So... Hello, Bridget James. Thank you for joining us. Mm, that's good. Joanne, that looks good, but I really don't eat what I can't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joanne. Be adventurous. <laughs> Sis, keep it 100. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. Happy evening to my beautiful friends. This is Jacqueline Stevenson Smith. I'm going home to New Orleans Wednesday. My dad is turning 89. What a blessing. That, that is, is a blessing. 89. Happy early birthday to your dad. Um, that the, looks so good. Happy evening. Down in the N.O. Down in the N.O. In Nolan. In the easy. In the big easy. Um, we may be headed there at some point this summer. Mm -hmm. um, we usually try to get there at least one time a summer. Joanne says she try not to eat what she can't pronounce. <laughs> I get it, sis. Hello, um, Bonita Nelson. Thank you for joining us. J. Jip. Karen Williams. Jay Gipp. Jay Gipp. Yeah, he used to work with me in Mississippi. Okay. Yeah. The net man. That's a good brother. Um, the lamb is good. That's all I can say. It's succulent. Um, Harold that? said, uh, Harold Rucker got my package. Thank you. I'm all glad right. you got it in one piece. Addy Alexander. Hopefully God it was in one piece for Harold. Yes. <laughs> It's hard shipping some pralines across the country. Yes, and it's about time. My brother-in-law is walking through in it like in his pajamas right now. <laughs> Hello, Olivia <laughs> Taylor. He says he shakes his head. <laughs> good evening, Anthony Watford. Uh, enjoying the good relaxing music. Virginia in the house. Thank y'all for joining us. I hope you all have your beverages to wind down, whether it's a good margarita. Man. Um, so I missed you guys. We missed you guys this or weekend. Some wine. Yes, we did. Uh, but uh, thanks for the love on Tuesday morning. Yeah, Tuesday morning is early, so you got to be you got to be an early riser to see Tuesday morning uh, tea with Kip. Um, you know, because that's like six o'clock in the morning Eastern mm -hmm. Standard Time. So depending on what time zone you're in, <laughs> that can be real early. But uh, it's good for me, I tell you. Yeah, uh, that's my time to kind of bring it all together. You know, I enjoy the wind down. I enjoy the after dark. But when it's all said and done, boy, we need another power yes. <laughs> to get us through the week, and so, uh, so that's that's part of that's part of life. I think that's called balance, right? Yes. Carol Dunn about to quit my job. I can't keep missing. Oh, out. don't do that, don't Carol. Do that. <laughs> you can hey. always go back and watch again. Replay. <laughs> don't do that, sis. Um, but thank you, mm -hmm. thank you for your loyalty and support. Hello, Sharon Brown. Hello, Shirley Turner. Thank y'all so much for joining us. I'm feeling this wine, baby. You feeling it? Yeah, that's good. Um, but after we, you know, we, we still got, well, we got some margaritas to drink. Yeah, he made, I think you made those for your sis. Yeah, that's your sis. Uh, we won't call them. Sis likes a little margarita. Hello, I mean, Deanna DeCosta. Girl, the best baby. thing you can eat is what you can't pronounce. I, I know that's right. <laughs> you ain't never lied. I, I, which, how you say it? How you say it? Put oh, it in your mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I don't know what I'm saying, but they good. <laughs> Belly out, too. Thank you for the stars, Sharon Brown. Hello, Carolyn Archie. Thank you for the stars, Rhonda. Is that Remo? Yes. Hi, keep inside the pralines. Were awesome. Thank you Thank so you, much. Some good cold wine. That's what Carol Dunn is on. John. So, <clears throat> good Peterman. mention of cold wine. We still, we haven't forgot that we go do that old school wine night where we drink cold duck. What's the other wine? Babe, that should be my what? birthday. Yeah. That should be my birthday. By night. the way, next week. It's Kip's my birthday. birthday. Um. Shares, Not on Wednesday, though. <laughs> no, it's next Saturday. Next Saturday. He shares a birthday with uh, one of our supporters, our family members, Gary Craig. Gary Craig is on the same day? Yes, babe. God, he also that's, that's shares so... a birthday with my father. And one of my uh, business uh, how was business associates. Who? Who oh, called me for business? Oh, oh, I don't oh, want to call his oh, name. I got you. Yeah, want him. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, May 15th. Y'all, it's a lot of Taurus out there. Hello, Tar Tanya. Taurus get a bad rap for being bullheaded, but they're really not. Ain't that right, bro? That's right. Thank you for the stars. <laughs> Who is that? Bonita Nelson. Thank you so much for the stars. <laughs> Gary's is May 16th. He the day after you. He May 16th. That's close enough. Okay. Yes. Um, but y'all, y'all tell me when you met a Taurus that that didn't I'm not show. Bullheaded. That didn't show a little bit of bullheaded. I'm about the nicest per following person you'll ever meet in your life. But bullheaded don't mean you're mean. I ain't say I was. I said following. Following. I follow your lead. Oh, so what you trying to say? <laughs> don't start none. Won't be none. Oh lord. Y'all hear him, don't you? Uh, hello, Josephine. Charles are fun people though. Yes, you're I can't say fun that. Fun people. Hello, I've hello, never Jackson. Met a Charles person that wasn't a fun person. I, I agree. Um, is he a Taurus? Yes, he is, Olivia Taylor. <laughs> he is a Taurus with a capital T. Hello, Helen Jackson. Thank you for the Jack um, stars. It's not a bad thing, babe. I love you. Oh, I didn't say you didn't love me. I love you too, babe. <laughs> with all my heart, I'm going to give me another bite. We are the nicest people until we get tired. Yes, we are. That's Gary Craig. Well, how does he... You're right, bro. <laughs> That is so true. I get tired, boy. I can, I can be a booger bear. What's a booger bear? Not so nice. <laughs> Confessions. Confessions. But I, but you know what? I could be like that, but I can cover it. Yeah, I agree. I can cover it and, and get to it. I get my zone zone unless you follow me. <laughs> Marilyn Ross says her birthday is May 11. Happy early birthday. Well, we didn't kill this bottle. What happened? We. I think I was drinking some when I was making the food. Yeah, you brought me a margarita and you was sipping on the wine. It's okay, babe. Um, hello, Clara Porter, Rhonda Remo. Um, I came late. What are you guys eating? He did a. Let me pull the forks in. I'm gonna show it again. We done ate out of it, yeah, y'all, so it ain't. Pretty. It kind of looked like it's been. He did a bowl. A, with uh, um, a bar a barbacoa, barbacoa. lamb. Uh, Mexican, I hate to say Mexican, but it is what it is, huh? Yeah. Mexican uh, bowl. It has rice, cilantro, lime rice, um, lamb. lamb that's been braised, black beans, roasted corn, roasted poblano peppers, pico de gallo. A smorgasbord. Uh, <laughs> shredded cabbage with cilantro in it. Just a, yeah. A smorgasbord. Yeah. I'm going to eat some with a chip. And guacamole chips. Yes. Um, yeah, Lola made a taco. Yes. Uh, well, she didn't make a now, taco. Now, you can do she all did. these fillings in a taco. Yeah, That's what she, she did. Yeah. Or we, bowls are so much late, uh, easier. Yeah. Um, Just dump it all in a bowl and eat it. Yeah. I kind of place it in different areas. Those guacamole chips are off the chain. Yeah, they're good. So, it's nothing like going in a... Your local um, Mexican restaurant and having a taco, some chips and salsa, and a good margarita. Yeah. Um, we enjoyed their heritage and their culture. Yeah. Speaking of margaritas and, and uh, going to a Mexican restaurant, like uh, over the years, the, the <laughs> last two years I have, last year was COVID, of course. Yes. And uh, this year, I mean, still in COVID and it just wasn't appropriate. Um, 
But over the years, living in different cities, especially in Louisiana and maybe Mississippi, Cinco de Mayo seemed like I would always be off. I don't know how it would just happen that way. If it was on the weekend, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. But if it was during the week, I, I just always was off. And a lot of times, I would just enjoy the festivities. Yes. And it was always like a local place right near our house. That was always packed. Y'all know. And I called Ty like in the middle of the day, like at tw 1 o'clock. Like, while, hey, while I'm at work. I'm having a margarita. <laughs> now, one year, you did come up and cook tacos for the whole building. You remember that? Wait, the school? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I was I at did. school. Yeah, you did. Okay. Hello, Jeanette Stilson. Thank you for joining us. Barbara Keeping, I saw you on Barbara here. Barbara Keeping, thank you, Barbara. You've been Barbara, so long you to have us. Been so you sweet. found us and you've been hanging out with us. So we love, been we love you back. watching all them videos. So much love to Barbara Keeping. Hello, Janice Simmons Aldridge. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, I'm not a fan of av avocado. Confession. The There's texture, some more here, baby. I know. I've been eating around it. <clears throat> you ain't no good. Babe. <laughs> I, my spirit and my heart wants to enjoy avocado. But the texture, I can't get past it. <laughs> now, mush it up and put some maters in it. Good to and me. Some, maybe some guacamole. I could tear it up. Our baby like it. I know. Lola loves it. She ate avocado toast. She makes her own. I probably can do avocado toast because it's smeared, but it can't have no clumps. I don't know. I don't. It's mind over matter. I need to get it together. Mm -hmm. I want to love avocado. I love it I, in salsa, I in guacamole, it. but just to slice a piece. I can just it, slice a piece and put a little. I ain't cut just out a little, that. I drizzle olive oil on it and a little kosher salt. I don't have to have the kosher salt, but I like that. Yes, but Kip it, and Lola love it. avocado. Yeah. But those chips are awesome. Those green avocado chips. What's the funny story tonight? So, paying homage. We have a, a holiday coming up, Mother's Day. I figure you tell a, a story about your mom, and I tell a story about my mom. Mm. Um, just well, I'll tell you what. What makes me the irony of the story I'm going to tell. Um, I don't know if it's funny, but I worked for the same company like uh, two decades. And uh, prior to working for Red Lobster, that's the company I worked in for two decades. I had only been there two times. It wasn't like my favorite place to go. <laughs> I know what it's <laughs> I'm, I'm going. I'm just saying, it wasn't my favorite place to go. Not that I didn't, they had bad food. You just. That just wasn't my thing. Wasn't your thing. Um, but years ago, how old is Portia? Portia is 33. So my niece. That's his niece. Um, she was like in a stroller that was about 33 years ago right? <laughs> about at least 32 thank you for the stars i come home I'm, I'm not living here then i come to visit and my sister says let's take mom to and my aunt is living there i'm married let's take mom out to dinner for our mother's day I said all right so we go to red lobster <laughs> i've never been to red lobster that was my first time we go to Red Lobster on a Sunday, of course, Mother's Day. And we're in the parking lot waiting to get a table for like two hours. And boy, that tourist side of me, that other side came out. I had, Did an, he just say I that? had an attitude. I was like, what are we doing this? <laughs> he had an attitude, smart too. And the other, well, the interesting thing about it, my mother, who we were celebrating, she hadn't been out on Mother's Day since that day. She said, don't ever <laughs> take me out no more Mother's Day. The wait on no food. <laughs> yeah, we waited all day. I had no, I had no idea. Maybe like eight years later, I would he would work, be working work for, for that. And uh, and I and and working for as a manager and then as a general manager for Red Lobster, uh, man, you would know what goes on behind behind the scenes. The scenes. Uh, as far as getting, it's like a Super Bowl. It, for Super me, Bowl. I won't say it was for everybody. For me, it was like preparing for the Super Bowl. Yeah. It was like I had to, it was a long week of preparation, <laughs> getting my team's head in the game. They want some cheddar biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't even brought this up. <laughs> Cyrus almost came out on you. <laughs> uh, Kalisa, <laughs> Gipper. Okay, uh, I, but, I'm going to add two this. decades, but we had, that was 
that was it the experience of that for both sides made, made me understand where people were coming from when they were upset that they had to wait. wait. I understood what what how they felt. Yeah. Unless you work in the restaurant, you don't have, you don't a, understand. have an idea. It's, it's one sided. So. That we do in one day, we do more business. Sometimes some restaurants do more day business in one day. They do in like four days. In four days. So you have to think the dynamics of that is crushing. <laughs> and but what I learned, I just never forget when I went to Louisiana as a general manager for Red Lobster. My team told me. Uh, we always crash and burn. Always. And they, they, it, it's become the and, norm. And I, I made it my point to make sure that our happened. restaurant wouldn't crash and burn. Mm-hmm. And that was uh, my thing is to get be prepared. And uh, so, because I wore a, what baby? I wore my I was suit gonna say that. and a flower. He always wore a suit and a flower. And I, I remember telling my team, if I got to come back here and mess up my suit today, it's there's going to be there's gonna be some furniture moving. <laughs> so, and <laughs> what I loved watching from home and from the sidelines is you went out of your way to make sure the mothers that came to your restaurant that day enjoyed themselves. You, might, you I touched used, every table. Yeah, I used to take my crew. I used to. Mm-hmm. I stopped. I don't know why I stopped doing it, but I used to take them all flowers. Remember I did? Yeah, he used to give out flowers. All the ladies. All, all, the, the, mothers. all the mothers. So he made it extra special. And when, you, when you're able to see things from both sides, um, I think you have a, a better vision um, of what your customers expect or your guests expect. Uh oh, they say we frozen. Are we still frozen? Kip crazy. Andrew Baker. So clapping. <laughs> Are we frozen, y'all? Hello, Lita Walker, watching from Smyrna, Tennessee. Thank you for joining. Um, let us know. Kip, would you stop? They said we're frozen. Are we frozen? Send us <laughs> Mayday. Mayday. <laughs> Somebody laughing. I don't think we frozen. Um, okay. No. GG. We good? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, nope. Okay. We good. So, What's up, Drew? Thank y'all. I try, Drew, me and Drew had some good fun on Mother's Day. <laughs> Kip wore a suit. Mother's Day. And I, Mother's... Didn't, I didn't do Drew, I didn't do it with you. That was a different situation. He in had my, one big toe in, out the door with you. <laughs> you crazy, girl. See? <laughs> You can't give her nothing to drink. <laughs> That's what happened when you give her something to drink. <laughs> Babe, Drew came the last two years? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. And the beat goes on. <laughs> anyway. But I, I, I know y'all crazy. No, thank y'all. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But he did, he wore a suit and he always had a flower in his jacket for Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. Them were Super Bowl Sundays. Yeah. And I remember Lola was like three Where? or four in uh, New Orleans okay. and you gave me money and me and Lola went to a brunch b- yeah. by ourselves That's because right. he never saw his mom I, I because he lived I, away. Saw, Mother's Day was But work. he never spent Mother's Day or Valentine's Day with us, which... No, of course said, he made up for. y'all go out and just have a good brunch today. Yeah, but he sent um, yeah, someone needs if you if we're frozen, try to go out and come back. But he sent us the alcohol brings the truth out. <laughs> Arrow is <Israel. laughs> <laughs> Oh my liquor. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was one a few of the things that you have to appreciate. Uh, right. um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so they went to Mother's Day at one time. And they never went back. No, never. And never, mom ever went out to dinner for for Mother's Day again. And it's easy. So guess what I'm doing this this Sunday? He's cooking. Cooking dinner for mothers. Yes. Going. Good my evening, family. My brother-in-law will be having me out though. He's gonna be my sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you gonna be my sous chef, okay? Okay, we gotta get him an apron. Man, yeah, you doing the chopping? Um. I, or you gonna run the sink in the water or something? He, that means you gonna wash dishes, car. Don't let him do you that. Um, the women gonna be sitting looking pretty. Hello, Y'all Melinda Florence. Um, but I was gonna say, it's easy for a cook 
or someone that likes to cook to say, don't go out on the holidays. Don't do it. Don't do no, it. No, you don't want to go out on the holidays. I work in a restaurant business. You don't want to go out on the holidays. <laughs> It's the worst time to go out. This is from a perspective of, of not an insider. Because of, not because of the service. and Because it's just so crazy. It's crazy. Um, Unless you're the first person to hit the door. Yes. And when I waited tables, I made sure my mom and my grandmama and them was the first people to <laughs> Your hit mama the door. Them. Don't come in here at that's, no 6 o'clock in the evening. That's Mississippi. Don't come in here. <laughs> You heard she said, yeah. And we opened an hour. We tried with the same results. That's what we start doing, cooking. Yes, Gary Craig. It, it makes more sense to cook. Because by the time mama pick out that lobster and them shrimp, and by the time she leave, walk to the car, burp a little bit, what y'all going to eat when y'all get home? Yeah, man. You just better <laughs> get together at home. As a, I, well, look. I shouldn't say that because that hurts the rest of my business. I mean... But, but you know, if, if you, you can make a reservation, I would go. But you don't want your mama year. out there waiting an hour. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's just. I'll go out on. Hello, like, Tracy Jones. Friday. Thank you. Or or everybody done start, start doing that, trying to go the Thursday before, the Friday <laughs> yeah. before, the Saturday before. Everybody right. done got that secret. But at the end of the day, we still got to celebrate mom. We still have to celebrate mom. And I know it's a lot of people. It's like it's just one day you should celebrate. Um, take the opportunity. Um, yes, it was created. It's commercialized. All that good stuff. But if any opportunity you have to honor your mother, you should not shun away from it. That's yep. just my opinion. Um, Tracy Jones said, I believe, Kip. Yeah, that I mean, cook what your mama like. If she wants something special, try doing takeout. What do you think about takeout on a day like that? Well, it's okay. Um, it's okay to just take out. Yeah. But you know, if there's a if there's a great group of cooks in the family, cook who can organize it and put it together. And one person ain't gonna be doing all the work. That's a whole other yeah, story. Yeah. <laughs> if you can do that, that's that's cool. But if you if, yeah, scary. Cool. But if you have to go out, um, and some people enjoy going out, so don't get me wrong. Yeah. Go, go out, have a good time. Try to limit but, the group size. But though. I say don't don't stress yourself out. Just enjoy the moment. Mm -hmm. And if all else fails and you can't get a table and you got to wait, go have a glass of wine. Just They'll fix you a glass of wine real quick and you'll wind down. <laughs> you won't be in a place like can, this. Then you can go and sit in the parking lot if it's not so hot <laughs> and just say, you know, when they get that table ready, I'll be ready. But but let somebody keep mom at home until y'all sit at the table. Then let them That's bring mom. Idea. Yeah. See, Especially mom, if it's not far. Yeah. Or, bring or, mommy in like she's the star of the show. Like she's the star of the show. Don't mommy, have my mind that way. It's showtime. Bring the car up. <laughs> um, Kip, what did she say? Kip, you have two goddess queens to cook for Sunday. No, it's actually going to be four ladies. Yeah, I got five. Mom, our niece. Mom. Yes. I, yeah, my. Portia. We, we got to cook, cook before she goes to work. she got to work, but we got to feed her before she go to work. Thank you all for the shit. roses. <laughs> And I, I do want to bring this up, and I know there's a lot of people that are going to be visiting grave sites um, this weekend. So my my heart is always thinking. I know a couple of people whose mom have passed on and no longer with us. So yeah. show yeah, some love right. to the people who so are missing their mom. Sometimes that's not a uh, like a pleasant time. Yeah, it's not a pleasant holiday for everyone. And um, if you know someone who has lost their mom recently or whenever because time is, is of no importance. But um, show them a little extra love, especially if they're mothers. Hello, uh, Rose Jamie Simmons Brown. And for those of you that have your mothers, love on them. Yeah. Love on them because it's a blessing to have them. What's um, your story, baby? My story? Um, you said you had something. Yes, you were supposed to tell a story about your mama, and I was going to tell a story about my mama. Oh, just a story in general. Just a story in general. General, about anything. I got one about my mama. Oh, just anything. Yes. Also, I'll always love my mama. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, growing up for me, you know, uh, I spent a lot of time with mom. Uh, I was the baby of five, so there was a point where... It was just me and her around the house. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody, all my brothers and sisters were gone. It was just me and her hanging around the house. 
uh, which was special because you know what? Some of the stuff that they all went through, I didn't have to go through. One of them that I think about sometimes, Everybody, you know, mom cooked for five kids. You know, you cook and you say, you're going to eat whatever is on the table that you want to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was by myself, so mom would ask me, what do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? And so that was a special privilege. I got to eat what I wanted to because she said, what do you want to eat? Mm -hmm. And so I thought that was special. Yes. Um, uh, other than, you know, I didn't get many spanking. I only got like one or two because I was a good kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, or you learn from your siblings' mistake by I, watching I them did. get beat. I did. I watched them, <laughs> and um, you know, last year, I think we had just started doing this. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember, I did. We had a, we had to do a a catering event that Saturday before remember? Mother's Day, and I recorded it. I didn't do it live. Yeah, cool. yeah, but I cooked up. Oh yes, you yeah. cooked up, yeah. Yeah, but but I, I moms are special. Mom, I just remember my mom always just being there. Yeah. And um, if I could hurt a toe, she would always look at it, mm -hmm. and it would, that would always feel better. So mm -hmm. I love my mother, and she's what our mama is gonna be. This one hundred four. Yep. Ain't she gonna be one hundred four this year? I ain't in that. That's <laughs> twist you and your mom, but she probably gonna slap you. I just lost my sister. Yeah. Someone just lost her mom six months ago and their husband. It's a lot of loss, and my heart goes <laughs> out to those um, of you who have lost. <laughs> She'll fix it right now. She and it's your will, Carl. How old she, Carl? About one hundred four. <clears throat> Mama, shut up. <laughs> She almost oh, just, she, yeah, she was right off the ship. Oh, my bro. gosh. I just lost my sister Sunday, and we'll be having her service on Friday. I miss God my mother. You. God, God bless, bless you, you, Lita Walker. God bless you. Yeah. Um. So, show, so, so, show a little extra love, especially for the ones that you know have lost loved ones. Mm -hmm. Um. So, laughter is a good medicine, Joanne Ooh. said. Yes, yes, yes it, it is. is. It is. What 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 we used to do every I think for family family uh, dinners for us, especially during the holidays, laughter is because uh, we sit around the table and tell old stories, tell jokes and stories, yeah, of stuff we did. Mm -hmm. You know, I always tell the stories with my mom. I'm I'm the one who tell all the stories about what my brothers and sisters done, or sometimes what I did that mom and dad didn't know. Don't about. know. They wait till they done got good and grown and say, Mama, you remember that time? She, you can't, remember? she can't beat my butt now. <laughs> Thank you, Gloria Hall. Hello, you two. Just came in late. Almost missed you guys. Thank you for the stars. She can beat it. She just choose not to. She, she gonna, I hold them down She ain't got no strength in her to beat my butt now. Yes, yes. I can run from her. She'll run out of gas. <laughs> she in there saying, mm, mm, I'm going to hold them down for you, Mama. Thank you, Judy. Vernell Davis, I lost my mom July 17th, 2020. This will be my first Mother's mm. Day without her. Yeah. Wow. I'm so sorry. Wow. I wish we could hug you all. Yeah. It's, it's such a hard time when you lose. But the only thing we have to hold on to is memories. Yeah. Memories. That's why I'm always trying to make videos and photos because you just never know when you're going to have to have those yeah. to get through. That's it. Um, what's on the menu for Sunday? For Sunday? I can't tell you because it's a surprise for, for the mothers. I'm excited. But it's going to be I'll share the pictures and I might share, share a video. I might go live. See, I I, I might let y'all know what they're putting down. But we're going to throw Pamela down. Hargrove, it's going to be on the pop. And the goal is to put the pressure on the ladies because of Father's Day. Why y'all don't celebrate Father's Day like Wait, wait, mother? wait. Time out. I know I we saw my mother. <laughs> I knew this was coming. Hello, Tony Figueroa. Y'all treat us like no, old shoes. Just throw Tony it over in the corner. Tony Anthony Hill. <laughs> Dion Tillis. Sorry for your loss. Tony Anthony Hill. Hello. Happy Mother's Day, uh, Denise Ferrer. Will y'all make dessert? Yeah, we're going to make dessert. Okay. Ooh. Hello, Hattie McBride Spikes. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Teresa Lowry Flint. So, it's oh, been a age-old debate oh. that women get treated better on Mother's Day than the men do on Father's Day. Mm. Oh. 
What did you say, bro? Carl oh. said, mm. As a deacon in the room, say amen, deacon. We got a few fellas. <laughs> <laughs> deacon ain't never say amen. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Bonda Anderson Pruitt. We got a few fellas in the room. Do y'all agree? For those of you well, who baby, have I'm been. I'm telling you, I work in the restaurant business. But the reason why the restaurants isn't as full on Father's Day is because men want to grill. No. No. And the women cook for the men at home. They tip, they ask the men. They ask the men to grill. <laughs> we ain't getting into this. We ain't supposed to eat on Father's Day. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Uh, Harold Rucker. We ain't supposed to eat on Father's Day. I think he he trying to be funny. I think he mean like that's how we act. Like y'all ain't supposed yourself, to eat. Harold. <laughs> This is a sensitive topic, Harold. <laughs> Don't jump in the fire, brother. Um, well, I, can, I must say, no, no, I've been catered to for Father's Day. I, baby, I'm come on. I'm just saying. Say it again. So I have, you, you have. You, you Mom? Mama come around the corner, y'all. <laughs> oh, Lord, I think she got a belt in her hand because I was in here talking that mess. <laughs> I'm going to hold him down for you, Mama. Oh, Lord. Well, I must say, too, my, uh, my wife do the same thing. She Tony the same thing, said, I thought you were Army. Who? Tony Anthony Hill. Why you thought I was Army? What that mean? Well, army, like, Army? Like Army, Army, Army. army. You know, yeah. I've been told that before, though. That's funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People have actually asked me that. Uh, thank no, you I'm, for I'm the not, flower. but I, I, I salute everybody and, 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 and got a lot of respect for all my friends that's in it. <laughs> Uh, Tony said, hell yes. Donna Johnson, Papa was a Rolling Stone. Wait a minute, Donna. Wait, 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 wait. I'm about to say we ain't supposed to celebrate To the Papa. left. <laughs> he he might have rolled some stone, but you still got to respect him. <laughs> Mom keeps saying, I'm getting hot. You getting hot? So Elder good. R.T. Lake. Hey, hey, uh, Elder R.T. Lake. Hello, Elder R.T. Lake. So you listen. still got to give him some love. Yes, babe, and it's hard because we know y'all like grilled food. Uh, no, preferably like food. It don't have to be grilled. Well, y'all get food all the time. If 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 that's the setup for the house, so boy, this can get real deep. Let me sip on some wine, some more wine. <laughs> but I will say this: you heard when he said he tried to put pressure on us because they cooking for us. No, I just put it on the table. Well, he putting the pressure on the table, so it's up to us to grab the pressure off the table. So that means he don't want no hot dogs uh, on Father's Day. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to make the comparison. If you bring it in, we got to bring it. Now, I tell you what we don't want. I'm just saying this for all the men out there. Cooking technique. We don't want to be, we don't want to be going to no restaurant. Most men don't. Do you want to go to a restaurant or yeah. <laughs> Cause they usually want to watch football. Well, well football's not on no, in no. June. When football's not on, in but June. for the golf lovers, there's a golf tournament on. Yeah, yeah. And, and and there's some baseball on. Yeah, and they can sit and be comfortable at home. And as you look, good basketball game. Thank on. you, Pamela Hargrove. Happy Mother's Day. So to we just you. want a good meal at home and a good cocktail. <laughs> Valerie Jackson. Well, the deacon don't drink cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know anytime. It's a disclaimer. <laughs> we are supposed to be happy with the tie and the socks, Harold Rucker said. Harold. Harold, you want me to jump through that floor? Harold, <laughs> somebody must have got a gun to your head over there. <laughs> I try. I try to be very thoughtful with gift giving and um, holidays when you're you, you, you trying to honor. You've great things for birthdays, baby. Thank you, babe. Yeah, you, you've taken me to some great dinners, some great surprises, you know. So maybe I got a surprise next weekend. I don't know. Florine Grady, give him a banquet dinner. Okay. No, Florine, she ain't got to give him no banquet she dinner. She mean banquet the Frozen. <laughs> What's her name again? <laughs> Let me look at her picture so I know who I, so I know who to look for. <laughs> Florine, but I'm getting ready to get, get ugly. <laughs> Tarzan. <laughs> they were telling that 
gotta be fine with me, look, as long as they're Salisbury steak. <laughs> so I said, make sure he is Salisbury steak. Steak. I can't. Um, Harold Rucker said he clowning. <laughs> are you a father? I, I know I he was clowning. I know. <laughs> they better celebrate you, brother. <laughs> um, tell him, and I hope whoever needs to hear this. Here it is that you don't want no more ties and socks. I lost my mother seven years ago. Well, I want some more socks. Let me tell you why. Feel as good. Uh uh, baby, don't do me. Well, baby, you buy me socks all the time. But what <laughs> happened to them? I got two ladies live with me. And I don't know why. I can't yet to figure out. I talked to the Lord about it and everything. But they get my sauce and win. What the hell's going on? Your mama in there. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. Confession. I wear Kip socks. And some of them have my initials on them. And I have bought him socks with initials. And I seen initials. you wearing those, baby. Babe, calm down. Okay. It's, it's all right. Let me get another drink. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do better, babe. Your socks are so comfy. Lola wear them too. I don't know why she wear them. Because she used to be on an angle. One time, remember I bought those socks? I said, yours have the, they were sports socks. Yours have the blue ring. Gary Chris said, don't Mine get put out. Mine have the black ring. I ain't gonna get put out, Gary Chris. <laughs> Mine have the black ring. What happened? Lola wore them. Lola blue wore all of them. <laughs> but tell, at one Christmas, I bought a Ben. Full of gold toe socks. Did I not? You bought socks me. Them people in Belk were so mad at me. I bought every pair of socks on that wall. What happened to the socks though? You wore, you wore holes in them. No. Now I, I only... Kip, hello Kip. Where are you going? What's going on tonight? That's Mary Bell. Hey Mary Bell. Bay, I try to wear the sock with the hole in it. Because I know it don't bother me. I just pull it and fold no, it down. I can't wear a sock with a hole in it. No, I can't. But he don't like them. No, it, I can't how do get on socks? But... <laughs> For Father's Day, try to find something a little better than a sock and a tie. We could do better. Because, ladies, I see the Brahmin purses, the Michael Kors. Yeah. We ain't been on that road. The gift cards. Bra bracelets and watches. Bracelets and, and watches. And pearls. And gift cards. So, if you can, extend a little extra love to the fellas. I guess I'm a month ahead. I shouldn't be talking about father. Well, you know, y'all always. I just want to get in everybody's head. On your mark, get ready, get set, go. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> no, I said that. Oh. I said that's how you is. Don't. Oh, okay. But, so, ladies, um, enjoy your day on Sunday. There you go. And, fellas, coming up in June. You ladies, got us. Make sure. We, all we, we want, I'm like Bernie Mac. For, for Mother's Day, all we want is some special attention. <laughs> <laughs> Your mama and I agree, Gloria. Y'all know what I want. I just want a special meal. That's what I'm talking She's about. talking about losing her mom. Oh, okay. God yeah. I'm going to cut it out. This has to be the funniest wind down turn up Wednesday. That's Harold as well. <laughs> Kip, give us an idea of what, what would... Oh, you lost the baby? What would be good for a man for Father's Day? If he likes, it depends on what he likes. It depends on what he likes. So you get to find, see, me, what I like, baby? Golf. I like to play a round of golf. Music. Music. Food. Food. Attention. <laughs> Lord, I love attention. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> My mama in the wrong room. <laughs> Stay focused. <laughs> uh, it depends on yeah, what but, he yeah. likes. But you know what? Most of the time, you, we always have something. Thank you, Gloria Hall. <laughs> um, I, I worked on Father's Day. He's worked on Father's Day, and I try to make sure he has a hot meal when he gets off work. Yeah. Well, I ain't try. I did. Yeah. Um, and we, him, myself, and Lola. You like, when I came on from, from days like that, what I like to do, baby? Sit on the patio, have a cocktail and a cigar. And a cigar. Yeah. Yeah. You said, you said special. I believe in love again when I see time. Oh, who said that? Thank you. Uh, That's Rose, Jamie, Joe Henry for Laugh Phillips. How you watching TI? Yeah, special. He <laughs> said special attention. <laughs> but yeah, it depends on what he likes. Now, of course, 
some men, you know what you can get to know the person you know, right whether it be mother's day you get to know what that person likes what you like and i try to do that make it special mm -hmm. and the same thing you know i think that's what when you're talking about husband and wife or partners in relationships that's what it's all about being that's able to identify about. those things that they say oh my god she thought about this or he thought about this that's what that's what makes it special Hello, Liz. We've been doing great. Thank you for joining us. Kip is cutting up tonight. That's Bonita Nelson. No, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> 2021, a Corvette would be a good gift. That's no, that would be a good Harold. gift. That's Harold. He done redeemed hey, himself. There you go, Harold. Now you're talking, Harold. All that other stuff you're talking about, I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> now you don't even like low cars like that. I don't, but I, if you gave me one, I'd drive it. I bet you would. <laughs> drive it. <laughs> Fish bait. <laughs> Hello, Loretta Gandy. Um, but yeah, it depends on what the man likes. Most men don't want you to go overboard. That's most men. If he likes a good brim or hat, get him a hat. You bought um, me a hat too for, for Father's Day, mm -hmm. for my birthday. Mm -hmm. You bought me one this year for Christmas. Thank you, Rhonda. Charles. Yeah, I like a good hat. Yeah, I, he I, likes a good I hat. Like a um, but study him. I feel like I'm you, in the dark. Well, get in the light, baby. Um, Miss Pure Chocolate, y'all are grown. Who do you call Pure Chocolate? That's the name. Calm oh, down. Uh, you pure chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are all grown. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this. Thank you. What's the meal? What was the meal? Oh, it was a it was a bowl. <laughs> it was a, a Mexican bowl. Uh, Ain't nothing left. With cilantro, lime rice, black beans, uh, avocado. Oh, I forgot the meat. Barbacoa cooked, uh, lamb, lamb, roasted corn, and the wine is slow jam. Is the wine was exactly? It's, it's time for margarita. Let me get that corner. Yeah, my brother-in-law waiting on his my, um, my wife, his wife to come back. Somebody yeah. said a Corvette is a player car. Speak ah. on it. That's if you're a player. <laughs> if you ain't no player, it's just a car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, uh, I turned my cars in many years ago. What car? The player car. What's the player car? You know what a player you know what car is. You know, know. You know, like you play spades and you give a hand. Hey! Some of y'all walk know. around here with these player cars and they broke. Yeah. They got bends in them, yeah. cracks. Uh, got tears. Tears. <laughs> Time to put them on the shelf. It must be the slow jams wine. That's what it is, Joey. <laughs> um, this slow jams wine, y'all. Y'all got to find this. Let me tell you, it says, call me when you want more. <laughs> it really does. Say. It says it on the bottle. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Call, call, call Brandon when you want more. When you want more. Uh, I'm going to call that number tomorrow, baby, and see what happens. No, I want more. Seven, seven, I'm going to be like radio. I want more. <laughs> Mama done left me. Oh, I'm hot. Um, I'm going to get into my funny story. I'm going to let y'all go. So, my mother, my beautiful mother, she's probably not Ooh, watching. Lola Jean? <laughs> my mom. Um, my mom had nine of us. Which two, one were you, baby? Two sets of twins. You were number five. Carl, don't make me throw some more. What number you? See, I can't be serious with Carl Jones and him. What number were you? I was what they call the knee baby girl. What number so, was that? Is would you have? <laughs> <laughs> I was number. Six. Number six. I'm a good number, B. Yeah. And so, just stop. Y'all a trip. That's heavy. Um, there were a lot of us, to say the least, yeah. in the house with my mom. Mm -hmm. And um, I just remember um, fights, arguments. Uh, we had fights, too. You I didn't speak on y'all fights. Well, I watched them. I was too little to fight. Did you say somebody threw you out the bed? Well, my brother used to push me out the bed all the time. I'm surprised I don't have <laughs> something, some kind of, well, I probably it, mental issues. You got it, just don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Carl. We had bunk beds, so I would fall off the bottom, top. 
<laughs> Blue. Mama laughing. Blue. The hell is there? Mama like, coming there beating them. Why they treat me like this? <laughs> we all done been there. But <clears throat> I wanted to say, if you know a mother, or if you are a mother or a grandmother of multiple kids, listen to this technique that my mama invented. What's that? So when we got to arguing, which it was seven girls and two boys, she had two sets of twins. Right, it's two boys. Oh. And when and we if wa- they wouldn't have been twins, it would have been one boy. It would have been one boy. God almighty. So when we would argue, my mom used to have a spa going on up in there. We had a sectional sofa. So she would make one of us scratch her head. Her head would be in our lap. The other somebody was down at her leg area, rubbing her legs, <laughs> and the other person would be at the foot. And you sat there for hours on end as your punishment. And she had us massaging her. That was our punishment. Well, she was getting glory out of she it. She was getting glory. <laughs> and I bet you the argument stopped mm-hmm. because you didn't want to be the one working on mama. Mm-hmm. And she would hear us in the argument. Tina, come do my head. <laughs> that was the worst thing you want to hear. I but think, it kept I mean, us occupied. There, no. No, it, no, I wouldn't because I've never been with any mothers. It kept us occupied and we didn't fight as much when she would have us give her. That's so cool. over the years, we always joked about that. Thank you for the stars. Who was that? Doris Reeves. Thank you so much. We would always joke, Mama didn't have to go to the spa or to the massage because she had her personal ones in the house with her. Because anytime somebody got in trouble, did the toes. it could be anybody, <laughs> whoever was in trouble. We was working on them toes, massaging them feet. We had to get, get in the That's cuticles. Good. Yeah. So What'd my mom do? had seven girls and two boys. That was Hattie. Ooh, really? So she knows. Wow. Now, That's interesting. Do y'all have the same combination? Co- same combination. Oh, and them boys rotten, ain't they, Hattie? Because mine showed it. The boys was babies, too. So They weren't the baby. Well, they weren't, well Chiquita was the baby, but she wasn't supposed to be the baby. Yeah. <laughs> what that mean? Well, she, she, just she was the miracle baby. She was a miracle. I was like yeah. me. I was, I, was, I was four years behind my brothers and sisters. So All of them the were baby. like boom, 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 boom. And then I showed up. Honda, I want out of here. What was mama doing? <laughs> she must have had one of them nice ways. She said, hey, big daddy. <laughs> you talk about your mama, but you ain't even talking about mine. Ooh, you talking about your mama. You ain't talking about I heard call over the last time. <laughs> hey, big daddy. That's what she told Pop. Hey, big daddy. Here I come. Show <laughs> See, I don't know. What's she going to do with him? Oh, Lord. But, um. How would you tell me, baby? Anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, Father's Day, wait a minute, my mom had eight boys, Sue laughing at you, Hattie laughing at you, wait a minute, Ty, she talk. Don't worry Father's Day, be the third Sunday in June every year, I will try to get a great gift for my husband, there, there you, you go, go sis, happy Mother's Day, Pat Cobb, that was... <laughs> My mom had eight boys and two girls. Woo! Eight boys and two girls. Boy, they had to watch out for them two girls, didn't they? It depends on when the boys came. Sue laughing at you. <laughs> but, yeah, they um, out for them girls. So, when I think about Mother's Day. My sister thing, was a mess. I'm finna hear him get him off. Boy, she did all kind of food. Him him <laughs> okay, let's tell one thing. Queen, I know. <laughs> She would smoke and all and drink and all. What? But my mama beat it all out of her. <laughs> Go this, ahead. This why, if anything that ever happened to you in your life, this ain't the one to tell. Uh, Vernell Davis, my mom had three girls and three boys. We were the Brady Bunch. Child, I know. They call you, just call us baby kids, seven girls and two boys. Y'all crack me up. Thank you. See, he witnessed a lot of growing pains yeah. with his siblings. Well, well there was the pains in them. I watched the show. <laughs> I watched them lie. They sneak in the house. And I just, I've been here. Whap! <laughs> he's lying. 
That's when I grew up. I started saying, that, Mama, I got here at 2 o'clock. It'd be better to tell the truth, ain't it, baby? Yeah. To all the That's why my mothers sister have probably don't lie today because she got, some, got two up so bad. <laughs> Boy, I ain't seen my mama give a good whipping in a long time. Who? Mamas don't whoop grandchildren. The don't. whooping skills go out the door. They get weak. <laughs> but boy, you remember them whoopings they give you. But they get weak with them grandbabies. And be mad when you beat the grandbaby. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but um, thank y'all for joining us yeah. tonight. We finna get out of here. We got some margaritas to drink. That's right. It's the Cinco. Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, I thought something to come out your mouth. What? Oh, you had food. Oh, that's so bad. Uh-uh. Thank you, Dr. Mayo. Uh, but it's been a fun, pleasing pleasure. As well as a privilege. Thank y'all so much. And uh, we're going to get ready to get, up, get out of here. We'll be on Friday night. We'll be on Friday somewhere. night. From somewhere. Location. We're going to cook something. To be we determined. We have decided. Saturday is going to be our chain. Sunday. Oh, it's Mother's Day. We're going to pop in. Yeah, we'll pop in. I'll let y'all know what they did since it's a surprise. Yeah, surprise. But, um... I got a hair in my eye. Happy Mother's Day to you all. We'll see y'all again before the actual day. I hope you all love on somebody. Hey, if you got something special you want me to cook on Friday night, send me a message, okay? Gary Craig, I'm going to do that pork belly. So, you, you I got you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but this weekend, let me know. Thank y'all for joining us for the laughs. Right. Um, until next time, hey. keep a smile on your face. So we had some uh, slow jams. If you didn't miss it at the beginning, slow jams, Slavian Blanc. Believe this is a real bottle of wine, guys. I know it looked like some. I made it here at the house, but it's called Slow Jams Sauvignon Blanc. It's a uh, Horace Haven Hills. I need glasses on to read that. I don't know where it's from. Horse Haven Hills Sauvignon Blanc. Where is it from? Is it Napa 2019, Valley? Washington State. Okay. So there so, you have it. So it's Western. called Slow Jams. Give it a try. It's and then a, we made a... Uh, it's a dry white worm. Uh, a, a bowl a with... A bowl uh, with some lamb. Some lamb, some some braised lamb. Rice. Uh, barbacoa style with some... I cooked it with green chilies, um, cilantro, Black beans. cumin... Um, onion. I just braised it down for like five hours. Pretty good. And then cook some cilantro lime rice. I have to share my cilantro lime rice. In my opinion, I could. I probably cooked the rice too long. It was good. Okay. Good night, Joanne. Thank y'all so much for joining. Good night, Liz. Um, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, sweetheart. Thank you. Right, love we'll you. see y'all again um, before the weekend is out. Okay. Y'all have a good night. Have a Thank good you night. For Take care. Us. Do what? Put a, a smile, smile on, on your face. face. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good night.